check did not clear the bank. And so we sent the truck out to pick up the container. I rolled out there and uh, took the box up and uh, started pulling it up. And uh, it was so heavy, it, just, uh, it broke, uh, broke the winch. And we couldn't get it off the trailer, so we had to leave it on the trailer because it was too heavy. So I was asked by Nick to have a crew go down and unload the container at the other yard. I got a radio call that, uh, from Ron Gillette, the foreman. They said the men were throwing up and there was something really wrong. One of them fell down and hit me right in front of my feet. And it was opened up and there it was. And when I came to work the following day, I, uh, I saw it myself. I couldn't believe it. And it was just, you know, just little bitty babies, you know, just all quarter pieces. The heads chopped off, arms, legs, you know, it's just, well, really, it's just, you know, it makes you want to cry when you see something like that. Starting at the very front of this container, it was just wall clear to the ceiling and clear to the sides, filled with them. I really don't want to witness it again. Not, not what I saw. Well, as the supervisor for the county of Los Angeles, we found out through the media that 17,000 infants had been stored in a container. Enter adrenochrome, the rumored secret Illuminati drug. Technically, it's a chemical compound produced in the human body when adrenaline oxidizes. Adrenochrome is known to cause extreme hallucinations and feelings of empowerment and euphoria. How is the chemical extracted? A victim is terrorized, either being tortured or knowing they're going to be sacrificed, increasing the amount of adrenaline that is flowing through their body. They are then killed, and the adrenochrome is collected with a syringe from the base of the neck or spinal column. A human victim only produces around 10 cc's of adrenochrome, so once it's collected, the drug can be sold on the deep black market and corners of the dark web at exorbitant prices. Adrenochrome is created by the pineal gland when a human is fearing for their life. It is said to stop the aging process or slow down the aging process. Until someone stops using it, then they rapidly age to the age that they should look or worse. It's very popular in the elite Illuminati circles. The Cabal learned that children were the best extraction source for the highest potency adrenochrome. The younger, the better. As people get older, the concentration and the potency of the adrenochrome declines. And the more terrified a person was, determined how potent the adrenochrome that their pineal gland created. It's probably the most expensive drug in the world, and very rare. Because it is so very expensive, only the richest people, celebrities, billionaires, can afford it. Whether human... This is Job 9 and 24. And it says, The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. He covereth the faces of the judges thereof. If not, where and who is he? I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakak Wadash. Double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well. Peace and salutations to the elect and much respect to the brothers pushing his word in the four winds of the earth. And Shalom to you, few sincere sisters out there as well. It's Brother Ariyah coming at you with another lesson here. And uh, this is something that, you know, we're all privy to. But, I, you know, I came across the that older video, the first one, I believe, was. And, uh, yeah, the way they described it, a whole bunch of babies, uh, you know, on one side of the trailer reaching up to the ceiling, man, just piled on top of each other, you know? And that's for that adrenochrome, man, because they, they want to live forever. They want to look young forever, right? And you've seen how they explain how when they stop taking that adrenochrome it catches up to them and then you know that this the their age uh speeds up and catches up to them and then they look how they are supposed to look man that's how when you see some of these celebrities you'll see them one year and they'll look fine and then you'll see them one two years down the road you know and they'll look 
they be looking crazy. And, you know, at first you'll think, you know, they probably just doing a lot of drugs. But nah, you know, they, they not being, they're not able to get that adrenochrome, man. That's what it is. You know, we, 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 uh, you know, <laughs> this world is, is so damn wicked, man. You know, it's so, so wicked. You know, you kill a baby, you know, for its adrenochrome, man. And you got to be able to scare that baby. Had that baby terrified in order to obtain it, man, through a syringe, you know, either through the neck or through the spinal cord, man. You know, they use a lot of sex magic and, you know, they grate these kids and it's just wickedness, man. Let's get, uh, let's get Psalms 58. Is Psalms 58 chapter and started two and it says yea in heart you work wickedness you weigh the violence of your hands in the earth the wicked are estranged from the womb they go astray as soon as they be born speaking lies and it says, their poison is like the poison of the serpent. They are like the deaf adder that stoppeth her ear. You know? So this is what they do, man. You know? Committing violence in the earth and terrorizing uh, the inhabitants of the earth, man. Whatever it may be. Humans, uh, you know, nature, animals. Regardless of what, whatever this man touches... He seeks to destroy, man. Let's get Proverbs 4. I'm not going to make this long. But the Spirit came on me just to do a quick lesson on this. I started at 14. And it says, Enter not into the path of the wicked, and go not in the way of evil men. Avoid it, pass not by it, turn from it, and pass away. For they sleep not, except they have done mischief. And their sleep is taken away unless they cause some to fall. For they eat the bread of wickedness and drink the wine of violence, man. Okay? And that's for any uh, wicked man, but we talking about Esau, which is the wicked. Okay? For they eat the bread of wickedness and drink the wine of violence. You have to be a very wicked and violent person. You know, to do something like that to a child, man, just to obtain uh, uh, the longevity of um, of being young, you know, of, of having the appearance of, of being young, man. And they sell that on the black markets, you know, for, I don't, <laughs> he said exorbitant prices, so you, you don't know how much they sell that for. You know, it could be 5000 or better, a pop for that, man. And this is where all of these children are going, you know, either sold into sex trafficking or they are used for adrenochrome, man. This is where all of these children are going, you know, and you already know that they uh, covet uh, after the melanated children, man. I did a lesson, I don't know, maybe six, five, six months ago about all those children that went missing in Ohio, man. Okay. In the span of, I believe, six months, 200 or 300 children went missing in Ohio, man. Melanated Israelite children, man. Which they're probably using for adrenochrome, man. You know, these wicked, these wicked elites, man. You know, and, and in the kingdom, we're going to learn all of the wickedness that they've been doing that we don't know of. You know, all of that is going to be brought to light. The Heavenly Father is going to allow us to see the things that they did in the earth, man, which is going to further uh, anger us, man, and light that fire in us, man. You know, when they when we have them in captivity, because there's so much more uh, that we don't know that the Heavenly Father is going to reveal to us, man. Let's get uh, Sirach. Let's get Sirach 11. And we'll read... Uh, 31 through 33. 
And it says, For he lieth in wait and turneth good into evil, and in things worthy praise, and in things worthy praise will lay blunt. Hold on, let me read that again. Salakia. For he lieth in wait and turneth good into evil, and in things worthy of praise will lay uh, blame upon thee. Of a spark of fire, a heap of coals is, kind is kindled, and a sinful man layeth wait for blood. You know, and that's what this man layeth wait for, man, blood. He's a bloody man. Take heed of a mischievous man, for he worketh wickedness, lest he bring upon thee a perpetual blot. Okay? And he's a he's a he's a he's a blood sucker, man. He he likes to suck people dry, man. Okay? That's what you do when you block. You know, you remember we seen uh you seen that movie uh, American Gangster, man. What do you say, man? That's twenty thousand dollar alpaca. You don't rub that. You blot that shit. You know. So that's what it. That's what a. That's what a blot is. You know he's, it, it. You know he soak it in, man. You know, this man is. I'm telling you, man. This this man likes to bleed everything dry, if you will, man. I'm telling you, not giving a damn about, you know. The families he's messed up, man. The the, the, the child's uh, parents is probably going crazy, can't sleep, can't eat. Esau don't give a damn about none of that. He he does that even to his own, to you know, children that look like him or children that look like his children, man. That's how wicked this man is, man. It really don't matter, you know. But the better adrenochrome is is, uh, you know, was in the melanated uh, Israelite children, man. You know, and that's why we're seeing a lot of them. Uh, missing out here, man. Okay, because the elites are, 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 are you know, taking that adrenochrome uh, from them, man, and just tossing them away like they're nothing. Let's get uh, let's get Ezekiel twenty-eight. I'm gonna go to the uh, let's go to the blue letter. I, oh, I already got it. That's beautiful. I'm gonna start at uh one and read down to five and it says the word of the lord came again unto me saying son of man say unto the prince of tyrus thus saith the lord power because thine heart is lifted up and thou hast said i am the most high i sit in the seat of the heavenly father in the midst of the seas yet thou art a man and not the, the heavenly father though thou set thine heart as the heart of the most high behold Thou art wiser than Daniel. There is no secret that they can hide from thee. It's talking about Esau, man. Behold, thou art wiser than Daniel. There is no secret that they can hide from thee. With thy wisdom and with thine understanding, thou hast gotten thee riches and hast gotten gold and silver into thy treasures. By thy great wisdom and by thy traffic have thou increased thy riches and thine heart is lifted up because of thy riches. And that's why this man is so proud. You know, you'll see an Edomite that, you know, they got some money. And they got a, you know, a real expensive car, you know, expensive clothes and all that. You see how they how they look, how they act. They, they, they you know, walk around with their nose up in the air like they better than everybody. Like they shit don't stink, man. Why? Because they, they're proud uh, because of their riches, the riches that they have, man. Okay. Let's go into that word, traffic, though. All right? Strong's H, 7404. Rachala. 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 Right? And it says, uh, let me see. Yeah, all right, right here. It says merchandise, traffic, and trade. Okay? And not only are they trading, you know, uh, natural resources and spices and, you know, things of that nature, but also people, man, children, right? That's big business, all right? This is why they were uh, mad when they made that movie uh, Sound of Freedom, right? Because it was showing people, you know, how, how that industry works, the inner workings of it. You know, not all of it, but, you know, some of it, okay? So they make money off, off of these 
off of these babies. Not, not just using the adrenochrome, but selling it as well, man. Right? And maybe some, you know, some of the older children, maybe 12, 13, you know, 10 to 13, 14 and up, whatever. They'll sell them the drug, uh, into, uh, drug trafficking, into sex trafficking, you know? But them young babies, you know, up to like maybe seven, at seven, the age of seven or eight, you know, they'll use them for adrenochrome, man. You know, and either use it for themselves or profit off of it, man. This is the world that we're living in, man. You know? Let's get, um... Let's get 2nd Edris. The 6th chapter. Let's get 2nd uh, Edris, the 6th chapter. Um... Start at 27. Read 27 and 28. Right? And it says, For evil shall be put out, and deceit shall be quenched. As for faith, it shall flourish, and corruption shall be overcome. And the truth, which hath been so long without fruit, shall be declared. Man, And we're waiting for this time. This time is coming in, in, the, in the kingdom when, when uh, the truth and righteousness will flourish in the earth, right? And we won't have to worry about, uh, you know, our, our children being harmed, being taken from us, you know? We, we're going to live forever, man. You know, these things that we deal with now that we have uh, worries about, you know, or used to have worries about, because now us being in the truth, we have full faith in the Heavenly Father, man, you know? But just you know, regular day-to-day -day worries or whatever that some may have, you won't have to worry about that in the kingdom, man. All of that will be wiped away, man. You know? Let's go. I'm going to go into that now. It's the flip side of it. Let's get Isaiah, the 54th chapter. Let's get Isaiah 54. You know, because these things are, you know, only temporal, man. Only for a short time. And in the kingdom, these things will no longer exist. They will be wiped away. Let's get 13. 13 and 14. And it says, And all thy children shall be taught of the Lord, and great shall be the peace of thy children. And righteousness shalt thou be established, and thou shalt be far from oppression. For thou shalt not fear, and from terror... For it shall not come near thee. Okay? So in the kingdom, we ain't gonna, you know, our children are gonna be good, man. We're gonna be good. Our children are gonna be able to play out in the streets, you know, as long as they want, man. You know, these times are coming and it's gonna be beautiful, man. Let's get Isaiah 11. Isaiah the 11th chapter. I'm start at 6, 6 through 9. And it says, the wolf also shall dwell with the lamb, and the leopard shall lie down with the kid, and the calf and the young lion and the faulting together, and a little child shall lead them, okay? Just like in Job, the fifth chapter, it says that the beasts of the field shall be in league with thee, right? And that's how it's going to be in the kingdom, man. You know how you, when you were a child, you was like, yeah, damn, I wish I had a panther or, or you know, a, a pet gorilla or something, you know? Yeah, that's that's going to be a reality, man. That's going to be a reality. And the cow and the bear shall feed. Their young ones shall lie down together, right? Won't you ever think a cow and a bear would lie down together and be at peace with, with one another? Wouldn't the bear ultimately just try and and, and uh, feed off the cow, man? And the lion shall eat straw like the ox, right? The lion shall eat straw like the ox. So it ain't going to be no more animals killing animals or none of that right now, man. I mean, um, you know, in the kingdom. And the suckling child shall play on the hole of the asp, right? Which is like a viper or, or a, a cobra. A, a, um, a poisonous snake and the weaned child shall put his hand 
on the cockatrice den, then, I mean, they shall not hurt nor destroy in all my holy mountain, for the earth shall be full of the knowledge of the heavenly Father as the waters cover the sea. Right? It's going to be a beautiful time. Okay? There ain't going to be no more dog eat dog mentality anymore, man. You know, the earth is going to be at peace, man. The earth is finally going to be at peace. You know, violence won't cover the earth anymore. The, the scriptures say they, sh they shall learn war no more. There ain't going to be no more wars. No more kidnapping. No more child sacrifices. No more using children for adrenochrome. No more sex trafficking. No more guns. No more murders. You know, all of that is going to be done away with, man, in the kingdom. This is just one of the many things that we are waiting for, man. Because living in this bugged out society is stressful, man. And only the weak, only the strong will survive. Let's get uh, Zechariah, the eighth chapter. I'm going I'm to leave it with this right here. The eighth chapter. I'm going to start, uh, let me see. Three through six here. And it says, Thus saith the Lord, I am returning to Zion and will dwell in the midst of Jerusalem, and Jerusalem shall be called a city of truth and the mountain of the Lord of hosts, the holy mountain. Thus saith the Lord of hosts, there shall yet old men and old women dwell in the streets of Jerusalem, and every man with his staff in his hand for every age. And the streets of the city shall be full of boys and girls playing in the streets thereof. You know, right now in this day and time, you ain't going to let your children out on the streets to play without you watching them. You know, that shit is dead, man. We used to do that back in the 80s, 90s. That's not going on now. You know, most of the time, you know, the children are homebodies or they go to the mall or something like that or go to their friend house. But just out in the streets playing around, you very seldom see that now, man, because you got a lot of weirdos out here, man. But in the kingdom, that's not going to be worried about at all, man. Okay, in the streets, in, in the streets of the city shall be full of boys and girls playing in the streets thereof. And it says, uh, "Thus saith the Lord of hosts, if it be marvelous in the eyes of the remnant of this people in these days." Should it also be marvelous in mine eyes, saith the Lord of hosts? I guess it will, man. The answer is yes, it will be marvelous. Okay? It will. And that's going to be a glorious time, man. You know, we can't wait for that time. This is yet another reason why this man needs to be taken down. You know, a lot of people, uh, you know, take up, you know, for these wicked-ass men. Okay? Which shows that they condone, they condone the wickedness that they do, man. And that's what that's what our job is, is is not only to to warn you of the coming destruction of this place, which is Babylon the Great in the Bible, A.K.A. America, but to 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 shine a light on the wickedness that this man does uh, from back then till now. Shalom.